the new Lex Panthers took the Crooksville Ceramics by storm almost quite literally this past Friday night. There was heavy rain the whole game, but it proved no problem for the Panthers. The Ceramics had the first possession, followed by a good running offense, but they were quickly stripped of it with a new Lex interception. This newfound possession allowed the Panthers to run the clock and the field to result in the first touchdown of the game. The Ceramics got the ball back and were able to achieve some yards, but failed to match the score. The second quarter began with a 15-yard rush by number 20 for the Panthers, Hunter Rose, who positioned his team at one and goal. This allowed for his teammate running back Caleb Jones to rush the ball in for the second tutty of the night. But the 12-0 lead wasn't enough for New Lexington, and they decided to try for the second two-point conversion of the night, which was successfully run in by number 20, Hunter Rose. With 11 minutes and two seconds left in the second quarter, the score was 14-0 Panthers. Not even three minutes later, New Lexington returned to the stage with Hunter Rose running the ball 15 yards and into the end zone. At the half, the Panthers are up 20-0, having scored all of the points in the first half. Early into the third quarter, there was a lightning delay, but as soon as this was over, New Lexington shut the game down with two more touchdowns. The final score was 34-0, Panthers getting their third win of the season. Next week, New Lexington will play the Sheridan Generals at home, and the Crooksville Ceramics will play the Morgan Raiders away. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm Haley Hollinger.